So you're an Amazon seller who wants to make more sales. Well, if you do, there are two key metrics you need to be looking at in order to make more sales. And we're going to be discussing them in today's video. So buckle up. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ben. I'm a full-time brand builder, founder of brandbuilderuni.com. And our goal, our mission is to help you build a brand that you own and a life that you love. And if you want to build a brand, then you need people to buy your product. There's no business if there's no sales. And so in this video, I want to walk you through really the 80-20 of making more sales. There's lots of nuanced, different tactics and different strategies that will always be evolving. But in this video, I wanted to give you you the real fundamentals of the exact things that are going to move the needle in your business. Maybe you're a beginner, maybe you're someone that's recently started selling on Amazon and you're wondering, how do I make more sales of this product? Well, I'm going to give you the two key metrics in this video that are going to help you do that. And the first of those is traffic. If you're going to sell more products on Amazon, the first thing you need is traffic. People can't buy your products unless they can find them. So you need people visiting your Amazon listing if you're going to make sales. And there's two key ways that you can drive more traffic on Amazon. The first is through organic means. And again, there's loads of different strategies you can use to do this, but the main focus of 80% of your time that's going to bring the most amount of results for you should be organic ranking. You should always be looking to rank your products higher in the search results on Amazon. For instance, over 10,000 people every single day search for a yoga mat on Amazon in the US, 10,000 a day. And so if you can just get your product high up in those search results, so a good bulk of those 10,000 per day see your product, well, you can just begin to imagine the kind of crazy sales numbers you could see. So there's two key things you wanna be looking at when you're doing organic ranking. And the first is you wanna be ranking higher. You wanna find high volume search terms that you can appear higher up on the list for in order to make more sales. To do this, I'd suggest running Cerebro by Helium 10 on your product. It's a great tool within the Helium 10 suite of tools. You can grab a discount in the description below. It will give you either 10% off for life or 50% off your first month. Great deal for a great suite of tools. Run the tool called Cerebro, which you'll find in the sidebar. Take your ASIN, the, the number, the string of numbers and letters that usually starts with B. You can find it in your URL or in your inventory section of your Amazon account. And you can put that into Cerebro and then you can run that and it will show you what keywords you are ranking for right now. You can target some high traffic keywords that are relevant to your product where you are maybe in position 15, 20, 30, 40. So you know there's some momentum with that, but if you give it a little bit more love and you can appear higher up in the search ranking, then it's gonna bring you some immediate results. I recently created a video showing you step-by-step -step how you can rank higher for your products by using PPC on Amazon. I'll get to that in a moment, but for now, if you do wanna check that video out, all of the videos that I mentioned in this video or alongside the timestamps in the description of this video so definitely check them out too investing up front in your organic ranking on amazon is something that i see so many sellers underestimate they come into selling on amazon and they want to make immediate money and they think they can just be profitable from day one but actually your listing is like prime real estate on amazon and it's something that you should invest in just like with a house that you would do up the garden you would renovate the place you would make it look nice you would invest in that real estate the same is true for your amazon listing you should invest in it so that you can get organic ranking that's going to bring you free traffic every single day. Now, I say organic traffic, uh, you know, and this is an organic method, but it might involve investing some money into it up front. But once you gain that organic ranking, it should be self-perpetuating because the sales that you'll get from being ranked there are going to help you stay ranked there. Of course, there's lots of variables with that, and that's assuming some stuff that we'll talk about in a moment, the second key metric of all of this. However, if you can get that traffic, it's going to be a great start. We just started a new brand of few months ago we're about to hit a hundred thousand in sales and to be honest with you we're not really going to make much profit in that first period of time six figures of sales not much profit but the reason is is because we're continually re reinvesting into more organic ranking more positioning we want to grow higher with our search term ranking in order to be able to make more sales ongoing not only do we want to rank higher, we also want to rank broader. We don't want to just rank for our one main search term because then our business really is living and dying on that one search term. We want to make sure that we are ranked for as many different keywords across the board as we possibly can, meaning that our traffic is diversified. And if for whatever reason, algorithm update or 
I don't know, just some crazy reason that we lose ranking on one certain keyword for our product. We've still got hundreds of others that we're well ranked for that are driving continual sales. In order to rank broader for more keywords, the key here is to have as many relevant keywords in your listing as possible in the most prominent places. You wanna make sure that your most important keywords are in the right places and that you also include as big a range of keywords as possible. In this video here, I'll walk you through how to use Helium 10 to create a highly optimized keyword optimized listing. So you should definitely check that out too. So you really wanna be investing all the time in ranking higher and broader for keywords in Amazon. It's the major driver of traffic for your products. Okay, so that's the key methods of how to drive organic traffic for your product. Next up is paid traffic. Again, there are many different ways you could do this. You could run Google ads, you could run Facebook ads, you could get influencers involved in your brand, and all of those things are great and have their place. However, the mainstay, the 80-20 aspect of page traffic for Amazon sellers is always gonna be Amazon pay per click. Amazon in their nature are wanting to uh, make more money through advertising, uh, selling advertising to you as an Amazon seller. And so they're gonna always favor their algorithm towards those sellers who are going to deploy pay-per-click advertising. I'm pretty active on Twitter these days. It's a great community. I'm in community with loads of Amazon sellers on there. You should definitely join us if you're not. My username is just Ben Donovan. Definitely check it out there. But I see Amazon sellers even to this day say, well, I don't even run Amazon PPC. And I'm like, you are crazy. You're not only leaving so much potential income on the table but you're leaving so much potential organic ranking on the table because actually this is like a, a flywheel in that your paid traffic it causes you to generate more organic ranking it's the only system that i know of in digital marketing that works like this if you run google pay-per-click ads you don't rank higher on Google for those same search terms. However, if you do this on Amazon and you get conversions, you get sales on those PPC ads, then it actually drives way more organic ranking. And so it is well worth the investment. If you're someone who is a beginner with Amazon PPC or just struggling to get a handle on it, definitely check out my free complete beginners tutorial, which you can find up here or down in the description. Again, it's gonna be super, super helpful for you. But listen, before you dive too deep into PPC, the success of it really is so dependent on the second metric which we're going to go on to now remember first we've got to see traffic to our listing and we can do that through organic or paid methods but once we've seen traffic the second metric that's so key that's going to drive more sales for your amazon products is conversions and if your product isn't optimized for conversions then running ppc investing in organic ranking doing all of that you're just wasting time energy and finances because you need that listing to convert of course, the first question is, well, what is a good conversion rate for your product? Marketplace Pulse last year said that the average across all marketplaces was 12.5%. You can find out your conversion rate by going to reports, business reports, and grabbing your detailed page sales by child item. And you can see each of the products that you're selling there. And you can see something called a unit session percentage. That is for every session that every user that's gone on and looked at your product on that day, how many have turned in to buy it. You can also go and look through your PPC data to get an even more accurate look at how a product is converting by seeing how many clicks have gone on to that product and then of course how many sales divide the sales by the clicks you're going to get your conversion rate and it's going to give you an idea of how well you're performing if you really want to get a clear clear idea of how well you're performing with your conversion rate definitely check out the benchmarker report which again i will link below it's a free evaluation tool by selix crazy powerful data and it's going to show you how your conversion rate is stacking up against your competitors you see in one category and average conversion rate might be 5%. So you might be there with 10% thinking, oh, that's crazy low. It should be higher than that 12.5% Ben said was the average on that video. <laughs> but actually, uh, you're way ahead of the 5% that is the norm for your category. Or it might be the opposite. You're cheering thinking, hey, I got 15%. It's higher than the average. I'm killing the game. But the average for your category is 25%, right? So it's really, really helpful data to know how you are benchmarked against your competitors. So I would definitely recommend checking out the benchmarker report in the description below. But how do you then actually get more conversions? How do you drive your conversion rate up? Well, you've always got to be asking yourself the question, why would someone buy my product over the competition? And this, of course, is a question you should be asking yourself in the product development stage, not just in the product launch or product marketing phase. You really need to be creating products that have a complete package of an offer that solve 
problems for people. Remember, if you're gonna build a brand, the three things you need to consider, not only is, is the product, but it's the problems that you're solving for certain people. How does this product solve problems? Is it better than what's already on the market? Am I showing that clearly in my listing? And there's two key ways that you can show this in your listing. And number one is through your visual content. Visual content, of course, in these modern days is so, so important. Less and less people are reading the details of Amazon listings. Many people are making purchasing decisions based on images alone. So your infographics are absolutely key. No longer is it sufficient just to post an image of your product from six angles or just lifestyle images alone. You need to create the story. You need to tell the story of your product through the images on your listing. If you wanna learn how to do that, I've got a video here and I'll link it down below it's all about the image formula that we use to tell the story of our products to drive up high conversion rates above 20% oftentimes. If you wanna drive that conversion rate high, you should also make sure you don't neglect your A plus content. So get brand registered, get a trademark uh, registered for your brand, get brand registered on Amazon so that you can have A plus content and make sure you fully utilize that whole section, make it dynamic, make it something that's really gonna stand out. That will definitely help conversion rates and also make sure you include video. Video is something that is gonna be more and more important on Amazon over time. And it's something that now all brand registered sellers can have as a, a video just below the photos on their listing you just need to go into inventory and manage and upload videos upload your video under 45 seconds make sure it's something that calls out the benefits of the product with a call out text on screen in case people aren't using audio make sure it's sharp punchy shows the product in good detail and it will be something that will definitely help conversions on your listing the second key in my opinion the thing that i'm working on all the time to drive more conversions on my products not only is the visual content but it's also the reviews. We all know that Amazon is a review-centric marketplace. Reviews define so much on Amazon, and so it's so important that we're not only getting more quantity of reviews, but we're also getting more quality of reviews. Your star rating is in my opinion, almost equally as important as your number of reviews. If you've got a thousand reviews at two stars, let me tell you, your product is gonna convert like crud. But if you have got 20 five-star reviews, there is every chance, and I would put my mortgage on it, that it is gonna convert better than the two-star with a thousand reviews, right? How can you generate more reviews? Well, of course, first and foremost, it comes down to having a good product. Make sure you work your backside off on creating a good product that's gonna provide value in the marketplace that solves existing problems. The second thing, of course, is to make sure you're asking for these reviews. Now, I don't recommend using automated email follow-up services anymore. We just use the automated follow-up uh, request a review feature inside of Amazon. You can uh, go in manually to each order and click the request a review button, and that request is gonna come through from an Amazon-oriented uh, email, and it's the easiest email to respond to ever because the person can just click the star rating in their email, don't even have to leave a comment anymore. So, of course, there's positives and negatives about that. The good thing is you should get way more reviews. You should be looking for an eight to 10% review rate. So for every 100 sales you make, you should get eight to 10 reviews. Really good, much better than it used to be. However, of course, the challenge with that is if you have a rubbish product, it's very easy for someone to leave you a bad review and not tell you why. So it does bring us back to the importance of creating a great product. By making it part of your weekly priorities to drive more traffic and drive more conversions with your products, you will grow your sales on Amazon. But remember, this isn't an overnight project. Amazon, selling on Amazon is not some get rich quick scheme. It's an opportunity to build a real business that provides you flexibility to live life on your terms. But you've got to come into this with a mindset of being willing to invest. Don't expect to make money in week one. You've got to treat it, like I said, like a real business that invests up front in organic positions in growing your sales, growing your conversions so that you can build a business that actually creates the lifestyle you desire. So remember, more traffic, more conversions. That's how you get more sales on Amazon. Check out the linked videos below. Check out all the resources below to help you achieve these objectives in your business. And please do let me know in the 
comments below any questions you have on anything I've mentioned. I realize I have maybe uh, breezed over some of the topics. I wanted to make this as concise as possible, an 80-20 video for you to give you some things you can action right here, right now in your Amazon business. But if you do have questions, do let me know below. And if you like the video, please do hit that like button just to let me know. And if you enjoy content about Amazon, growing sales and growing the business, hit that subscribe button because that's what we create on this channel. Okay, thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one real soon.